really interesting stuff. Which of your former Roni castmates do you think would have had the hardest time adjusting to this rural town? Ah, I think probably Ramona not, would not have been so happy with the accommodations. <laughs> well, you know how she is. I mean, even in the best hotel, she's expecting people to hang up her clothes. Well, that was not happening. She brought an air conditioner to Bluestone Manor. So, I mean, anything I, is possible. Speaking of Ramona, what, how do you, what is your reaction to her statement? You know, that she is done. She's quit legacy. She does not want anything to do with the show. She says it's not for her. Like, are you shocked? Like, what's your reaction to this announcement? Well, listen, I think that Ramona has been on the show since the beginning, <clears throat> like I have. And I think that, you know, I think she's, um, she's living her best life. I think she's got a new boyfriend. I think that, you know, she's turning the page on a chapter. Um, and I'm, I'm interested, you know, I'm, I'm happy for her and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that she's on to this next phase of her life and I hope it's a great one. And, and I hope that, um, that she's happy with her decision. What about, you know, so many fans say, good riddance don't let the door hit you on the way out we've more than had enough and then a lot of other fans are saying like we cannot have a legacy show without ramona how do you feel about these two camps <laughs> well you know, maybe we'll see ramona on legacy maybe she'll surprise us who knows you know ramona's always good for a surprise so um i don't know if the door is closed i think the door has um has swung the other direction. I'm not sure if it's closed yet. Uh, well, I hope not. And what about, I mean, listen, we're all going to watch regardless. What do you think about, you know, there's a lot of fans out there that are like BS Ramona, like you didn't quit, like Bravo didn't, wasn't going to ask you to be a part of this anyway. So let's just be honest. Like, how do, what do you feel about this? Cause there is a lot of that going around the internet. Well, listen, you know, um, I feel like a lot of the housewives, you know, when they don't get called back, it's I quit. Um, you know, I uh, I don't know exactly what happened, let's say. So whether she quit, they let her go, I don't know. But I know that she's not coming back. And so what's the difference? That's true. And before we move on from Ramona, because I think we've talked about her enough, whether she's part of this show or not, I mean, how do you feel about, you know, she does this interview and she calls it a legacy loser. Like, that's not very nice. Is it? it? It's not very nice. And I feel like, you know, it, it's typical Ramona, you know, when she gets backed into a corner, she retaliates and starts, you know, throwing punches. Um, and I just think it's it's always better to uh, to go out on a high note. And, you know, it's like, you know, it's like Bethany. She did the show and now she's doing a podcast about the housewives. You know, be cool. Don't be like all uncool. Be cool, you don't know? be all uncool. Yes, Bethany has dissed the show for quite a while and now she's doing it. You know, I would ask you what you think about Bethany's podcast, but I mean, we've already been there a few weeks ago. You said it was sad, pathetic. You said it was a desperate scenario that all of her pivots have failed. Here we are like a few weeks later. Like, do you stand? Well, it's all true. It's all true. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, listen. I mean, you know... She she left the show. She tried out different things. They didn't work. And then she came back to the show and then she left again. Um, and, you know, she's never had a kind thing to say about the housewife. So how do you expect me to respond? I mean, I don't think there's any surprise there at my response. I mean, I just said what everybody else thinks. Uh, and so, you know, the truth is, is that, you know, the housewives has made her career. And then she poo pooed the housewives and now she's back. You know, is that cool or uncool? I don't think it's very cool to. I think the fans have spoken because from my response and from my, you know, interview with Danny Pellegrino, you know, the fans agreed with me. You know, she's had nothing good to say about the show or any of us. She's blocked me on social media, you know, and now she gets to talk about. You know, it's just not cool. Did she block you after that, after you made this statement? Oh, 
blocked me for years on Instagram. What is she afraid of? You know, now, now she's going to be doing a podcast, you know, about me. Isn't that weird? Like the woman she blocked, the woman she poo poos, uh, you know, now she's doing a podcast about me you know, and the other housewives, but God knows I've been around since the very beginning. So guess what she's going to be talking about? But, you know, let her just try to bring it or bring anything that's less than uh, positive about me because the fans will just eat her up because I've been there. I've stayed the course. I've done the work. Right. I've made the housewives, you know, for 13 years what it is. Um, Bethany has not. So let's see how she's going to, you know, obviously, you know, if you want people to watch, you know, you got to make it dramatic. So um bring it on and let's face it you've never talked bad about the show once you haven't you know so i mean to your point my mo i don't you know i don't poo poo what other people do but in this case you know and i've never said anything about her going off the show and doing a talk show and going off the show and doing a show, you know, trying to do a show in reality, a la Donald Trump or whatever show she did that didn't work. You know, I've never said a bad thing and I still don't say a bad thing about Bethany personally. This is about her, you know, going off the show. She wouldn't even say the word housewives when she did an interview. She wouldn't even refer to it. Okay. And now she's using it to gain a presence for her podcast. I just don't, you know, I just feel like it's a, 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 a pathetic move. I agree. I just wanted to see if you had a change of heart or, you know, that's all. No change of heart. I wish her the best. But, you know, to 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 have to fall back on Housewives as kind of a last ditch effort and with your podcast. I mean, she was doing a podcast, right? What happened to that podcast? Did it not work well? I know she has to rely on the housewives to up her game. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, I assume if it was working that well, there wouldn't be another one. That's just from being a well, podcast no. host. Why do we have to fall back on the housewives? Maybe she'll unblock me from social media now. Well, if she wants to talk about you, she's going to have to. So I take it you're not going to well, listen to her podcast. I mean, Bethany, you better unblock me on Instagram. I take it you're not going to listen to this podcast. Oh, I, I, darling, I'm the kind of girl that doesn't look in the rearview mirror. I look in, in the, in the, in the windshield. You know, I don't, you know, I'm not going back and doing, talking about old episodes of the housewives. You know why? Because I'm making new episodes about the housewives. Yes, you are. Well, speaking of that, you know, we keep seeing the same names, you know, paid six.